Hey guys, welcome back to Shotgun Nation. Thanks so much for coming back down to the channel. So they've got the Pro Series L. This is a lever action 12 gauge shotgun manufactured by the Hunt Group and being brought into the United States by Black Aces Tactical over in Longwood, Florida. These have been on the market for about a year and a half now, but it have been very elusive to myself. We found this online over at AtlanticFirearms.com. Uh, please do go check out AtlanticFirearms.com as they are today's sponsor for the video. Once we found it in stock, I reached out to them and told them of our need for a review, and they were happy to send one over. They just said, treat it nice um, and send it back when you're all done, and we were happy to do so. So again, go check out AtlanticFirearms.com. We really do appreciate them for their help keeping the content up on our channel. All right, so let's talk about some of its features. Let's start from the beginning. It does have a high rifle sight on there and also a high visibility dot on the back of it. It is set up for chokes. It has one installed, two more in the box, uh, but it also has a choke removal tool uh, in the box as well. You can see it is an extended magazine tube. It holds six in the tube, one in the chamber, so seven on board altogether. Um, that is an aluminum lightweight receiver, but it does have a steel, um, looks like to be parkerized, uh, lever there. Everything seems to have a Duracoat or a Cerakote type paint job finish on it. A couple places to attach your slings to uh, with a set of wood walnut black stain furniture. Yep, that's wood walnut. That's not synthetic. Not only does it come with a full stock, but also the bird's head grip here. Um, also wood, black stain walnut, same matching te texture and everything. So it's going to look really nice on your firearm uh, should you decide to run it that way. They also offer this in a natural wood finish as well. Uh, along with other finishes for the firearm itself. Um, I believe one of the other ones is a uh, nickel kind of chrome uh, look to it. There's a picture of it right there. It does accept two and a half and three quarter inch shells. It also has a dovetail cut on the top of the receiver. And the safety switch is found here on the left side. It is my only point of criticism so far, and that's just before shooting it. From the shooting position, that safety switch is nowhere is where it needs to be. Uh, from the ready position, sure, you can grab onto it and manipulate it pretty easily but I prefer to be on target whenever I hit my safety. So, so far, that's the, really the only bit of criticism. The finish on everything seems to be very nice. Uh, the fit of everything is also very nice. Um, seems like it's gonna be a really nice shooter, but you can't really judge too much until you actually start cycling rounds through it. So I've got it all loaded up with seven rounds of Fiocchi, uh, 1300 FPS. Uh, let's just give this thing some shots right out of the box and see what you guys think about it. Well, we dumped the last one there. That might have been a little bit of a short stroke on my part. But let's put some more rounds through it, see what we think. So it seems to load up pretty easily. There's a pretty good gap right here. My thumb kind of almost gets stuck in it. But uh, I suppose if you do it right, it's not an issue. Six. Oh, we'll pick up number seven here. So six from the tube. Seven on board. Yeah, so it seems to cycle very well. Um, as long as you're not short stroking, you know, it's a way different than a pump action, trying to get all that, that momentum and force going with that. Um, I guess I would like, personally, if this were a kind of an extended size uh, loop to really get your hands in there more. I'm pushing a lot of pressure with my uh, tips of my knuckles here. Again, I don't use a lot of lever action, so it's just kind of unnatural for me. Um, but like I said, I don't want to judge it too much before I put too many rounds through it. But just as we're going here, and it's just a bit of criticism.
Well, the action on it seems to be very smooth. The uh, cycling is very nice. No hangups at all. Um, actually, the, the first six rounds that came out of it seemed a little bit clunky to me, but that might have just been me. However, I will note, I will say that the second and third uh, tube full of shells have been super slick. Alright guys, so after 75 rounds, I do have some new criticism. First of all, I'm forming a pretty decent abrasion on that knuckle right there. Um, maybe I just got soft hands. Maybe I'm not used to working lever actions quickly. I'm not really sure, but I think that extended loop uh, would be kind of cool. Uh, also, this pin right here has a tendency, I'm sorry, has a tendency to walk out. This is as far as it goes. I even tried to hit it on the other side with a punch and it won't go any further. So while it's assembled, something's keeping it in there, but it is pushing out. And you can just pop it back down in. But more importantly here, so this screw holding your safety switch on is coming loose. 75 rounds into it and that's coming loose. Um, my assumption is that it would have to turn 10 full revolutions at least for that safety switch to come off. And I would hope that you would notice that during your regular inspections. But perhaps just some thread locker or something will help that. Um, and then also, this screw right here that holds your uh, lever to your action arm is very loose. Um, it's so loose to the point that it almost appears as if it's going to come out on this side. Um, let's see here. One revolution, two, yeah, yeah, so two revolutions left and it was coming off. So that's definitely going to need some attention as well. Put it back together here real quick. Okay, got it back together. So it should be flush. You saw it a second ago how far it was in there. Um, now, even after tightening it all the way back down, I want to point out the action is very smooth. So it wasn't just because that, that screw is loose, um, but that could also use some thread locker on it as well, in my opinion. Um, other than that, guys, it's been a hoot to shoot today. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It did what it was supposed to. Um, just those few issues that I think that you should watch out for. Like I said, I don't think that stuff is a deal breaker. Um, definitely something that should be brought to the manufacturer's attention, um, but more importantly for the customer, doing proper maintenance and cleaning and uh, keeping up with your firearms. All right guys, and I was really hoping to do a short disassembly video to kind of show you guys how to take it apart after taking it out and shooting it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm having a really hard time taking it apart. I mean, so the butt stock is gonna be very simple. You take off the butt pad and then you take off the bolt uh, from the inside to remove that. However, generally, you remove uh, the fore-end retaining nut and after that, your forearm should just come right off. Well, it's not coming off. Um, I don't want to start popping out pins and stuff. As I mentioned before, this is on loan from Atlantic Firearms. Um, but it did not come with a manual. And after doing a little research online, it turns out I guess a lot of them aren't coming with manuals. I did reach out to Black Aces Tactical personally to see if they could give me some insight. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't heard anything back from them yet. So maybe we can do a follow-up on that later on. Um, but for now... Uh, we're going to leave it at that, uh, swab your barrel when you're all done, and just, you know, do your best to make sure that things are nice and cleaned up. Okay, guys, well, that's it. I appreciate everybody coming back down to the channel. If you have any new questions, comments, or concerns, put them down in the comment section below. Also, remember to go check out AtlanticFirearms.com. they got old, new, um, they got military surplus. Uh, you'll find accessories and ammunition, all sorts of stuff on their website, so go check them out. And we really, really do appreciate them for hooking us up with some items to review uh, to keep the channel alive. We do have a couple of bull pups and some ammunition that we're going to be testing from them this week also. So do stay tuned to the channel. we got a lot more coming up.